welcome to this webinar about iLogic Drawing Dimensions. Um, in this video we're going to be looking at how to center drawing dimensions uh, within your application. Uh, my name is Chris Atherton, I'm one of the senior applications engineers here at Symmetry. Um, I specialize in iLogic and in Vault Professional. Uh, so if you've got any questions, please get in touch. So we're going to take a look at Inventor and you can see here that we have several dimensions that are offset and what we want to do is look at building up some code to move these so that they are centered within our drawing. Uh, we want to do this in a way that uh, means that every dimension on our drawing gets centered as well. Now to do this you don't need to be a coding expert. Um, it is a little bit over and above what we, we would normally do with the rules within iLogic but hopefully I can talk you through it and you'll be able to do this on your machines. So to do this to start with I'm going to look at the help files and I'm going to take a look at this help file called API help. Now this is a guide as to all the programming that you can do within Inventor. The beauty about this help file is it comes with some sample VBA programs and if I look through the list here I can see drawings, I've got annotations and I've got a bit of code that allows me to center my dimension text. This code will work, you can take this, you can paste it into VBA and you'll be able to run this straight away and just run this macro whenever you want and it will center all your dimensions. If you want to do this with iLogic you need to convert the code a little bit to work within the iLogic rule. So we're going to copy this code. I'm going to close down and I'm going to create a iLogic rule. I'm going to right click, add a rule in, and once that's opened, I'm going to paste in the text. Now in order to translate this from VBA to something that will work in iLogic, we're basically converting the code from VBA to .NET. And in this example, and with the majority of the API examples, this is fairly easy to do. Um, there's a couple of things we need to take out. So this information about subs, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of any words called set and any words called call. And last thing I'm going to do is change this line here of code. So this line is designed with VBA to access Inventor and then access the current document within Inventor. With iLogic we write this slightly differently and if you look at my advanced API op uh, snippets you can see I've got a bit of code for this document. So I'm going to double click to add that in. Let's get rid of the, the doc equals at the start so that it says odoc equals this doc dot document. With that, if I hit OK, you'll see straight away this has gone through and whenever that rule runs it updates the text. So within a very short space of time we've got some text that will iterate through everything and center that up. So let's explain what's going on in the code. Well if you imagine the programming interface for Inventor a bit like a giant tree diagram, we work at, our to at the top and we work through all the options down to what we want. So in this case we're working at the top level which is our document and within the document there are multiple sheets. So I'm saying we'll get the current active sheet. So this rule will only work on one sheet at a time as it currently stands. Within that sheet we will have views and dimensions and notes and, and, very, and balloons and various other uh, objects. Uh, in this case I'm saying well actually on that sheet get all the drawing dimensions. Once you've got all the drawing dimensions for every dimension that you find, if it's a linear dimension or an angular dimension then take that dimension and center the text once you're done go on to the next one and by doing that it will go through every single linear and angular dimension and center the text for you on this sheet. If we need to change sheets we have got snippets within here to activate various sheets so we could have a rule that swaps to a different sheet 
runs the centre rule, swaps to the next sheet, runs the centre rule again. Or we could change this bit of code so that we're actually iterating through every sheet on the drawing. It's up to you, but hopefully that gives you an idea as to how we can use this. Okay, thanks for that. And if you've got any questions, get in touch. Okay, thanks.